Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame, Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Since the 13th century, the city of York has been fortified and protected by ancient limestone walls. If Tom Ford is to reach a maiden United Kingdom Championship final, he faces the daunting task of breaking down and shattering the defences of the six times and defending UK champion, Ronnie O'Sullivan, the man on a quest to be crowned the grand old Duke of York with a landmark seventh title. He also is in pursuit of a record 19th triple crown victory. Held jointly in trust for now by the man on my left, Stephen Hendry. The question is, Stephen, how will Tom Ford handle this massive occasion today? It's simple. It's, it could go one of two ways. He could be inspired and absolutely fly, or he could crumble, as he wouldn't be the first to do that. Another big question, Tom Ford, has you know, some players, has he settled for a semi-final place? And is that all he's comfortable with in this tournament, or does he want to go further? Big question. If he wants a bit of inspiration, Alan, as you look back at the semi-final of the English Open, Mark Davis beat Ronnie 6-1. There's Claire, Tom's wife. Fellow, fellow Scottish lady, in actual fact, cheering her husband on. Miss Rodeo Sullivan, four. Yeah, no hesitation. Putting that back. Good news for Tom Ford having missed it. Had a little sighter at it. Last night, when the arena was changed to one table. So the cloth will be very reactive to any side spin. Which way? to get back down and play it from this position. He is one of those players, Alan, that you know what he's thinking at all times, don't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's very animated, Tom. No. Only sizing up this long red. How quickly is, gonna, is he going to slip into gear? This afternoon, building himself up for it. Oh, oh, what a pot. I said in the studio what? yesterday, he just looks like he's going to knock those in, doesn't he? It's amazing how his long game's developed in the last five or six years. What a starter. He's got an angle in the blue. He'd love to play for the red next to the black. To the right corner. Six. The reason he's not down already playing the show is just 
going to negotiate a little cannon on the red beside the one he's potting here. Seven. Play to perfection. A very salient point, Stephen. Thirteen. This isn't such a massive occasion for the six times champion. Like a little knock around in 14. his back room. He's so used to this atmosphere, and in fact, well, we know he revels in it, doesn't he? There's the scene. Hear a pin drop out there right now. Deliberately finished high on the black, so you can just nudge that red away from the black spot. Just a little gentle cannon. I think he's, the angle he's left in this red, I think he's up for the blue or pink. 27. There. Unless he's going to hold by playing a cannon on a red. Don't think he can stay in the black here. It's actually so clever to hold for pink, isn't it? Top side of it. The reds are a wee bit covering one another in the left half, but the, the ones in between pink and black spot, we tracking those. Probably a cannon, a screw cannon on the two reds there. Oh, didn't see that one. Just Ray Ray Sullivan, it 28. The Amazing the amount of times you do that playing a cannon. <coughs> No, we're in the, the first frame of this match, but this is so important for Tom Ford to try and convert this opportunity to a frame winning break. Can't stress how important this is now. Thank you. Sullivan doesn't make many mistakes, but when he does, well. you have to punish them. If he gets away with them, he's just in the comfort zone all afternoon. Seventeen. Now, if you didn't think it meant a lot to Ronnie today, there's a reaction to missing that pink. He would have seen that as a great opportunity to start with. A total clearance, century break, stamp his authority as quickly as possible. Twenty four. You also you don't you don't get Ronnie's respect if you don't take these chances either, do you? Yeah, you've got to punish. I was just also thinking we're perhaps some of our viewers haven't seen an awful lot of Tom Ford. For me he's a bit somewhat of a throwback in terms of style. 31. But, you know, in, in terms of the way he hits the ball, he's not a power based player, he's not a puncher. He strokes the ball. And that might help him early doors here. 32. Under pressure. A 
to say a little kind of you know throwback as a player, but he does retain all the assets that the modern player needs. Thirty-nine. First, slight misjudgment with position. I'm going to have to go for the blue here. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, nicely played. Very nicely 40. played. Forty-six. Yeah, that was nice, wasn't it? That was beautiful. And difficult shot. It was just a, 53. It was a short choice. It was absolutely perfect. Couple of choices now. It was his lead. 21 points in front. Just all about the cue ball here, isn't it, for the next three or four shots? 54. That might look very simple, but that was important to have this angle in the pink. He was dead straight in the pink. Okay, he's still getting the red, but he's not in the red nicely. And then that makes the subsequent shot not as easy to get in the following colour. It all snowballs. Little tiny shots like that are very Six. important. Sixty-one. He had a slight grimace on that red because he knew that if he played a black after this. Now he'd leave Ronnie in a snooker. He's going to have to pot the final red, but it shouldn't be a problem at all. He's, oh, I was going to say, he struck the ball nice in this break. He just didn't get into the cue ball there, though. This is a much thinner cut than he was anticipating. 67. Well done. Very well done. Very composed break as it's been from Tom Ford. Well, this is confidence. He could have easily Tom Ford, just played the easy yellow. Ronnie's having a think. And, and he's conceded. Time. So just what Tom Ford needed. A great start in the semi-final. He takes the first frame and leads a Sullivan one frame to nil. Four to break. Yeah, was it ever. What a start. One chance, one frame in the board. That's how you've got to play in this company. Because Tom Ford did what he did in the first frame, there's a little bit more pressure on this long pot now from Runner Sullivan. If that didn't happen in the first frame, if Ronnie had gone on and made a century, he probably would have potted that long red. As it happens, he's been a bit fortunate. He could have left something easier than this. You think it wouldn't matter, Alan, but I wish Tom had gone on and cleared the table in the first frame rather than leave the table after a missed shot. That's a good red in that blind pocket. Yeah, what? I know Stephen is a great advocate of that kind of thing. Keep the man rooted to the chair for as long as you can. 
I think, yeah, I, I completely agree. Obviously, he was trying to make the century and it's going for the blue, but send a little message to Ronnie. Just pop the brown or yellow and say, I'm not interested in centuries. I'm interested in keeping you rooted. But yeah, good opening red now. Tough little blue. How's the cannon on the outside red? It going to be close to it. Depends how full he gets the cannon. He might just have to push through it. Oh. What was it a kick? Four forward one. Thank you. Pick. Difficult to tell. Only Tom Ford will know really. But he's not left a sitter. So we see there the blue again. Yeah, I think his body language tells us he feels it was a kick. not to leave anything on for Ronnie and that would be another thing that would certainly help Tom Ford's cause if he could get a, a decent run of the balls today left what looks like a pretty comfortable long pot but as you can see where the path of the cue ball's taken no problem getting the cue ball out of there the two reds below the black if he cannons one of them there's every chance he could stay on the black well, okay, he's caught in the ball which he did and that blue is now coming very handy what? into that long red around the gap. Now, what sort of angles he got in this blue? The red over the corner, the right corner, mm. acting almost a bit of a blocker right now. How does he find a way onto that? Can he raise the butt, maybe? Just manipulate this cue ball, the natural path of it. Perhaps playing this with pace into the back of the, the reds, yeah. Yeah, it's well played. Good shot. Six. Yeah, it was always liable to catch something. Good thinking that was. Seven. Cue ball just stopped short of the bulk line, so it's yellow stun off the right hand side cushion for a choice of two reds around the black to the left corner. Concentrating the very early. We want the same thing to happen in this frame as happened in frame one. When he got in first, missed an easy pink and lost the frame. <coughs> okay, he's got a choice of two reds. 17. None of them easy pots. The one beside the black is, looks like he's going to have to raise the butt of the queue and 
aim down on the cue ball to stay on the black, which makes the pot missable. And maybe just straight enough just to follow through past the black. 18. I, I don't think that was in when he first hit it. Just the pace, I think, any, any firmer, that wouldn't have dropped. Yeah, that wouldn't have gone in yesterday. The new cloth helping it. Beautiful cannon. Opened up the whole frame there with that. Choice of two reds 25. again. Six. Going back to Ronnie's opening red. Tom Ford's going to have to tighten up in his safety play. There's a couple of times he's left long red opportunities for Ronnie. He needs to find that bulk cushion. 41. Forty seven. Forty eight. Just like picking sweet cherries off the tree, this isn't it? Look at the way the reds are. 53. 52 in front. Couple more required. 54. 54. Let's watch the Sullivan here retaining this little, I don't know, I call it a double swipe. Short routine. There you 61. go. There it is. And then he goes. 62. Getting himself set as much. Oh, oh, Green ball goes in. And opportunity here to just enjoy himself for a few minutes. Yeah, it's also almost as if that missed pink in the first frame has really intensified his focus even more. Say to himself, well, that's not going to happen again. 69. This has been normal service resumed. 75. <coughs> 76. Tom Ford will be sat in his chair and he won't be happy watching his opponent clear the table but this is not something he wouldn't have expected coming into today so it's not a shock that this is happening he just needs to keep thinking about his game when he does get a chance 82. to take it but as I mentioned before that safety's got to get tightened up 83 yes and part of what Tom Ford will be trying to do today, I, what I would I would be trying is not watch Ronnie too much. He's in, you know, we all know how 90. mesmerising he can be when he's in amongst the balls like this, just mopping up the last few reds and colours, having fun, getting your own bubble. 
think about what you're going to do in frame three. 95. Preparation for the next frame. 97. Yeah, I think yesterday that happened with Martin O'Donnell. He got hypnotised by Ronnie Sullivan. He just, his eyes followed him wherever he went around the table. He can't afford to do that. As the century comes up, magnificent visit to the table. Marker down to his opponent. 104. That, that pink that I missed in the first frame is not going to happen again. 109. 115. A fabulous clearance by the six times champion. He draws his level against Tom Ford. And it's one frame apiece. It's probably going to get punished like that. Thank you for the third frame. Scroll your Sullivan to break. Not the best break off either. I'm going to Sullivan. Cue ball nowhere near the bulk cushion. This red poss possibility to the right corner. He's just looking to see if the red, there's a, th a line of three reds, the top one goes to the left middle if he misses this because he's stunning for the black. Well played, well played, straight to him. On the thigh from Ronnie Sullivan applauding that shot. Yeah, pick the cartilage out of that one. What a shot! What a shot! <laughs> Eight. Switch it off, please. Nine. Straighter. He would love to play the can on the red that's in between the pink and black, directly the one directly above the black, but he can't do that now. So just a little screw back with the cushion. Again, played nicely. He's got control of this cue ball in this match. Perfectly, you have 16. to say. A lot of players would come into this <coughs> arena, new cloth, this surroundings, and be overhitting, underhitting, but. He's got that cue ball on point so far. Something else Tom Ford's going to find out. He's going to find out an awful lot about his own character today, things that he'll never have experienced before. There are players who struggle on the big stage, you're not about it down the years. I've seen tons of them. They seem to struggle. Not so today, Tom Ford. Looks super confident, I have to say. I say the fact that he just strokes the ball, doesn't punch it just generally, it seems to be helping him in terms of tension. It's a funny little pack this, Stephen, isn't it? They're kind of loosely bunched, but they're all covering one another. Yeah, the pink going there doesn't help in the situation, really. You could do a plan for the blue here to go to the bunch. It does look like that red on the pink spot will pass to the same corner, mind you, doesn't it? So that's maybe an out for him. 
Thank you. 23. Yeah, I think get rid of the one he's playing now and that one you just mentioned and get on the blue. It's a big target to go into the pack. 24. That's the, the art of break building. You've got to look ahead and see see the look ahead to see when you're going to open the reds. If he's straight in the black, that's a poor shot. That's his first careless one of the match. Just talking about the shape of them. Maybe going up for blue. I know hindsight's wonderful and all that, but going up for blue there, attacking the blue. The, the red's rather off the blue from there may have been more beneficial. So I've got to pull out a good positional shot now. Oh, brilliant. OK, maybe over hit it a little bit. But he's got into that cue ball very nicely. Addressed it so low, didn't he? You'd think he's bound to miss cue. Takes a steely nerve. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That That's quality right there. That is quality. That's trust in your technique. And now the perfect angle from the black to go into the pink. Try and plenty grab on the cue ball, hold it in amongst the reds. Oh, but don't miss the black off a spot, Tom. Don't miss blacks off a spot. Tom Ford, 32. Yeah. Thank you, that will do. See it again. Just caught the near jaws. I said he's not a power player. That's not his makeup, Tom Ford. He prefers to stroke the balls in, so that's. He doesn't find them. It's not that he finds it that difficult. It's just not his natural style, not his natural way. Again, just took his eye off the pot, concentrating on the split. Be interesting to see how Ronnie gets out of here. Choosing to almost bounce the cue ball away from the Reds. He's set up for that. One. You can see it's not a foul stroke. As long as you've made contact with the object ball first. That was as played. Steepled the cue ball over there. A couple of, couple of reds there. Brilliant shot, actually. As Stephen said, it was quite deliberate. Now, the little conundrum here is how does he go about sorting out pink and black? He's just such a perfectionist when he gets in. He wants to play it properly. He could work off the blue for a few shots. He could actually play a cannon on the reds here if he choose to. Because it's a perfect angle in the green. Into the three reds to the left of the black. He was bound to be on something, oh. you would think. Yeah, it was a big target, wasn't it? But just getting into the, the mode here, just picking a few off. Always looking for options. Up for green or brown playing this. Five. All the time, just a little perusal of the the reds and the are just getting in the way of the black and pink. The three reds that was mentioned to left the black. The one on the pink spot goes to the right corner, which will clear the one to the opposite corner pocket, which will consequently clear one to the, the, the opposite corner again. So maybe thinking that way, he doesn't need to play any cannons. He's just taking his time, surveying the table. That blue being off its spot is just proving a little bit of a headache here. You've got to love the way he tries to sort out the puzzle, don't you? You know, as you say, you know, <laughs> three or four reds to, to play on, but taking his time. Considered something, didn't fancy it. There's a short time just on a minute. But you, you know one thing, Sullivan takes a minute over a shot. There's Good reason for it. That wasn't the best shot he's ever played. Eight. <laughs> Hint of a grin. the 
Sullivan Armory, not dwelling on the disappointment of a poor shot. Good recovery. And again, playing for a couple of reds. Forty. Not the best shot he's going to play today. Way short in this red. He's looking to leave himself another blue to a corner pocket. Fifteen. Playing for the red that's in the pink spot to the right corner. Just shows you one bad positional shot on the green, a snowball. Even someone as good as Ronnie Sullivan has failed to get back into perfect position. I wonder if we can just flick one of those reds and leave the black to the right middle here. Twenty-one. Dead straight. But that's, this break has ended much quicker than I think anyone expected. Even his opponent. Rodia Sullivan, 21. A little flick on the yellow. It's just made things very awkward. This is probably one of the hardest shots in snooker. If he's going to try and play thin off this red that's tight on the black cushion. Practically 12 feet of green bays in between cue ball and object ball. Yeah, this is a tough, a tough shot. You'd love to get it away for thin, but you know, if you risk missing it altogether, it probably wouldn't be a free ball, but it'd be possible that you could leave a free ball. To If there was only, there was no other balls around it, I mean, you could risk playing the double kiss, just play full ball into the red. But he's playing the thin contact, he needs to get this right. There's not a lot goes to the right corner, to be fair. But that's far too thick. Miss the green with the red, please. No, it hasn't. Thank you. So at the second time of asking, it's back to trying to solve this little puzzle around the pink spot. You could leave the blue to the left middle, leave it this the cue ball this side, go off bolt cushion, side cushion with a touch of run inside. It's a big target coming from that side of the table. You'd be very unlucky to miss everything. He's on the green. Yeah, this red he's looking at now, I think, is available. As, as I said earlier, that will free another red, so... Decent chance, this. Four. Back for blue. Timing of this is crucial to get top side. Yeah, he didn't time it. Five. He didn't time it properly, so wrong side of it. But still a red to play on. Closer to this red with the cue ball. Don't expect him to, but it has become missable. You're just going to use the black here. Just brush off it. Mm. Eleven. Well, barring a left-handed yellow, it'll be a tuck-in behind the brown. How much does he fancy this? 
with a hybrid lefty shot. Mm -hmm. Never certain. Ryan Sullivan, you punching left. straight balls in, just off straight, but when there's a little angle, it missable, Stephen, wasn't it? <coughs> yeah, and uh, for, unfortunately for Tom, because Ronnie's hit the shot so badly, he's lost the positional side of the shot. You can see the red closest to the black, it's a very thin cut. Too thin. So although they're disappointed not to be left apart there, Tom is still in this frame. Very much so. 32 each. An opportunity. And they not only pot the red, but finish on a colour in a way to open the pink and red up. First job, concentrate, make sure you pot the red, so at least you're playing the next shot. If he played it as a natural, there was a chance he could disturb red and pink, which he didn't really want to do. Now then, what sort of angle is he having this yellow? Is he going to attack? The natural shot we would play with touch of right hand side, come off the side cushion and into the pink and red. I don't know if the green's in the way to play that shot. The natural angle. Looking at going round the corner behind the black, isn't he? Almost playing an in off in the left middle with pace. There's a line of it. He's not quite managed it. Oh, that's unfortunate. You can still see the red, though, I think. Just a, just a slither of it. Three. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Actually, not the easiest safety shot he's got in here. It'll just be a containing safety shot. It all depends how much of the red he can see. Tom Ford, here. three. It's very thin, but I do think the red's on. <coughs> I think I would have just be taking your medicine there and just getting the cue ball onto the black cushion. Try to play a more advanced safety shot. And this is a tough shot to the middle pocket. We see it again, so it's just a tuck in. Yeah, played it nicely. Royal Sullivan won. How much of the side cushion above the middle pocket can Tom see here? Referee Oli Martil having a good look at it. Thank you. Yeah, he'd probably be playing this with pace. So want to hit this. He could go in off in one of the black pockets should he miss it. Look out for that. <coughs> yeah. And he's not left Part a free ball, so that's actually not a bad four. result. No problem with the replacement because he'll be aiming a little bit lower down the cushion, closer to the middle pocket. So there's no issue here. But as ever, can he get it safe? Goes two points behind Tom Ford. Towards the black. Towards the black? Yeah. Or this side? Towards the black. Towards the black. Yeah, that's classy. We expect nothing less, mind you. Tom just hurting himself here by putting the cue Morning. ball. Thank you. Towards the black. Expect him to hit it this time. Yeah, that'll do now, 
Jerusalem. half of the yellow sticking out now he doesn't want to catch this too thin he could leave the yellow over the pocket he's got it really thin and it's left over the pocket that was what the danger was there now the, the green now looking at it don't think it goes past into its own pocket how does O'Sullivan passion position on this green I was to play it dead weight and maybe have it to the far black pocket but not simple it's like it's possibly about half a pocket, but you really want to be right behind the green, straight. You wouldn't have, want to have any angle in the pot. You can just try and drop this in and get the cue ball possibly for green to left middle. Play with a trace of right hand side, check side. Yeah, that's what he's done. Well, he's, he's fortunate there. He didn't play for the green to left corner, he took it to the left middle. Nine. That's a very poor show. A bit of tension out there. You can sense it. given. But it is there. 14. And possibly a little bit of a speedy bounce off the black cushion there. But it's right in the middle of the pocket. It's more scrappy for a frame. It was just as interesting. But it's Ronnie Sullivan that takes it, and he leads 2-1. Thank you, Frame 4. Tom Ford to break. Yeah, thank you, Hazel. As Tom Ford gets us underway, the frame... The all was important and crucial frame before the mid session interval. <coughs> a little gap, just about a gap between pink and blue. Might need to swerve it a tad. See the, the button there has got two reds to hit, so it's quite a good percentage shot this. Yeah, clever. Very clever. Uh, opportunity of a long pot. Three out of three so far, Tom Ford. Black is available. Risky this time. Oh, but don't do that. 
that I'm afraid is an unforced error which you can't afford. Again, I'd like to see him play it with just a hint of check, possibly. Not easy, whichever way he played it, but a mistake. Thank you. You know, there's the red by the black go into this right hand corner. doing there. Yeah, he's actually been a little bit fortunate Ronnie that he missed the pot by so far. If he gets a little bit closer and misses it, it stays over the corner pocket. And you see, never threatened. <coughs> enjoy the way of Sullivan plays these kind of safety shots. He plays everything with a trace of help inside Stephen, doesn't he? Just to try and guard against hitting it thick all the time. Yeah, it reminds me of the late great Alex Higgins. He was the same. He never ever played a safety shot playing ball. Ronnie's always trying to manoeuvre the cue ball in some way to create angles. hand on the table. Can he find a place on that bolt cushion for the cue ball? Put pressure on the next safety shot from Ronnie Sullivan. Yeah, the only thing playing the, the red left of the left half of the table here, it's difficult to get cover and put Ronnie under any real pressure. You'd expect the cue ball in the left wing he tried to check it up behind the brown, didn't he? But uh, he's unfortunate for the red to go there. Yeah, you've seen before he played the shot, that was his intention behind the brown. And it was, to be fair, an excellent cue ball. But again, it's just stopped short. Ronnie can get to the middle of the white. And you see, it means he can manoeuvre the cue ball out of there. Close was it that time? And the worst thing is he sprung the black in the open, and Tom has a reasonable starter, which if it goes in. Oh, Tom, Tom. He knew how important that was, and O'Sullivan was out of his chair in a flash. Out of his chair like a rocket. Yeah, this was the first. A sign of t pressure, first sign of weakness that we've seen from Tom Ford in this match. Well, it's probably cost him this frame, that miss in the red. Sullivan Allen, isn't it? You just you just can't let up for one one second. 
every shot has importance. And that's the, the difference, I'm afraid, with the, no. the best and the rest has been able to pot those important balls. Yeah, and it, if Phil Sullivan goes on to make a sizeable contribution here, it's going to hurt that man in two counts here. He is opponent will have made in Rhodes and B. He knows he should be at the table right now. Suffering for the first okay. time in this semi-final. So again, you've got to regroup, though. You just never know what's round the corner. Prepare yourself again for the counter-attack if the chance comes. Sacrificing an easy pot here. Oh, he backed himself. He backed himself. And he's recovered the situation beautifully. Yes, he, regardless of the situation, the scoreboard or the occasion, he always backs himself, doesn't he? To play that type of shot. He played the correct shot. He's about to reap his reward. 20. Even that little blue was a bit lazy, wasn't it? Just the wrong side. It shouldn't be a massive problem. You can just brush off the brown. Stay top side. I managed Next to one. avoid it, so he's all right. Yeah, he's a perfectionist. If he's even just half an inch out, it's a disappointment. Thirty-four. There's the match time. Comfortably under an hour. Average shot times. Just about what we'd expect. Twenty seconds. Thirty-five. Sullivan. Tom Ford. A little slower than that, but pot success. Customary ninety-four by Sullivan. Never really dips below that. Tom Ford at eighty-nine. Sullivan doesn't. Go below that, he'll be fine. Long pot success forward, 100%. Good stuff, isn't it? Still early doors. 42. Sullivan's 985th century this afternoon. Yeah, when Sullivan plays the best of 11, you normally expect at least two or three, don't you? Yesterday made two. Wasn't anywhere near his best. More frustration. 49. See those three reds. The one clearly goes to this right corner 50. pocket. Maybe it's, it's been camp there, kind of the three is below the pink and all things, but wide the angle. You see, you almost sense that O'Sullivan here 
he knows the importance of getting perfect on the red that he's on now. He's not absolutely perfect, but he can 56. just about lay this cue ball on a dime here. Because he's got to play a nice little shot, either developing or dropping on the next one. Uh, massive concentration into this cue ball. Just top side of the pink. See, you gave it an extra feather, <laughs> didn't you, just to make sure. Yeah, and now he's got them where he wants them. There's the score, 63 ahead. Problem solved. 63. <laughs> 64. Yeah, Tom will be in his chair just thinking what, what might have been. He's going to try and forget that red, but that's all that we're thinking about now. Missing that red. Not an easy shot by any means, striking down Seven. in the cue ball, but those are the shots you have to make. You have to be ready for those pressure 71. points in a match and be up for them. Oh, just pace, sheer pace, kept that pink out of the pocket. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 71. Continuing. Point snickers to tie. One. <coughs> yeah, he's the miss again. He was just trying to Eight. force it, trying to pinch the pocket. As Tom gets to work trying to peel these reds off, but on the evidence of what we've seen Nine. so far. Sullivan, the flaws in his psychological makeup are consigned to the past because he's been absolutely zoned in all afternoon. Lost the first frame after that 16. smooth 71 by 40. I say 40, that's what the boys call him in the circuit. 70. <laughs> A lively bounce there. But uh, yeah, Stephen says. Three, four point snookers to tie. Tall order. Yeah, he's probably going to have to lay 30 snookers to get three fouls from Ronnie Sullivan. Trying to nestle the red in behind the pink. Be amazed if a Sullivan risked leaving a free ball. That's the first thing. The only way you would imagine that happening is playing it with pace. I'd be interesting if he plays this with pace. Well, he has done. And he's got the pink. Oh. No free ball. But we're back to now just Come forward, six. six points behind what we call the bubble. Tom Ford, see it, 41 behind, 35 remaining.
managed to slip in behind there. That was a great effort. Unlucky. session interval. Six. Yeah, this time the concession will come. Three or seven, six. A good start by Tom Ford, and but Sullivan retains his raison d'etre. And he goes into the mid-session interval with a healthy 3-1 advantage. Thank you. Yes, Thank Sir you. Sullivan. 3 1 to the good please. then. Thank you. Frame 5. Royal Sullivan to break. As Olivier Martil brings this capacity crowd to order for the second instalment of the semi final. And on the evidence of the first four frames, Sullivan just grown, has grown into the match. Stephen Henry hasn't. He's been. Excellent in the last two or three frames. Very focused to Sullivan. Yeah, he's kept his mind on the job. That's what he's become. He's not just a showman. He's a match, a match winner now. That's what he does. He just comes out to do whatever he has to do to win the match. I agree with JP. He's not been his brilliant best. Positional-wise, he's... Not been his best cue ball day. It's not been as tight as it normally is. <laughs> He's eyeing up this red, so obviously he's not too hampered by the green, can get his cue through. Let's see. What? Missed the cannon. That was his intention. Did the cannon the black here. Or a combination of red and black to leave the black to the right corner pocket. Very crisp, long pot though. Yeah, he doesn't really want to send the black on a journey here, but it's the only way that he can get the cue ball in bulk. He'll try and keep it in the open, just above the blue, as much as he can. But as I say, he had to he almost force them to push it off the table. But a good tight cue ball again. creative it can be, the black up there is not a massive problem should he get the chance yep. classy again from Tom giving to Louis a good look at the outside red <coughs> this is quite high tariff if he plays it anything thicker than well Scraping the red paint off it. And saying that the blue might help this shot. He can only just hit the red. Foul. And a miss. And it's one of the most crucial should the balls be replaced, which it probably will be. <laughs> crucial that the cue ball goes back exactly as it was before. So it'll take a few moments to get it spot on. Next to 
Tom Ford's wife is to the left is Joe O'Connor. He actually played in this event. Lost to Joe Perry. Saying what a taste of this atmosphere, Alan. A future reference. Yeah. It's not a bad ploy, is it? Get to sample the atmosphere of the packed barbican you see there. Just about get through to pop this red. One. Quite a, a difficult pot, but it was quite a nice shot to have that, wasn't it? I'm liable to leave anything should he miss it now. These are tricky, these browns. I'll compare it to a pink off the spot on the other side, but it's a bit further down towards the back cushion. Not quite as much pocket to aim at. Oh, right in the heart. Very surprised if he doesn't play for black here. Bye. Just screw that cue ball back to that left hand side cushion, that one that he's leaning over now. Mm, got a very heavy contact Six. there. See the red leave the bed of the table. If he's screwing back here. This does need good cueing. Just having a tuck in of the waistcoat so that doesn't foul any of the reds. Why is playing this deep screw with left hand? Left handed, what a shot this could be. Okay, he's not on the intended red, but it was a brilliant shot. 13. Yeah, what an asset to have. <coughs> Excuse me, I was actually surprised he didn't play the red previous with his left hand. He was hampered by the black and playing that red. Now, staying aggressive, taking this difficult red on. Try and catch the red full ball. Push through it. Thank you. Not quite out of the woods. Another fantastic pot. Some more good queuing required here. Straight blue to the far left corner. Still at a hundred percent success. We're only two out of three so far. <laughs> just brushed it home, caressed it into the pocket, didn't bang that, just stroked it in. 90. Makes it all the easier when you get nothing to do with the cue ball, but having the white cleaned, it just gave them that extra few seconds to prepare for it. Twenty. Just signs to me that Ronnie Sullivan is moving up the gears with his intensity. 
to get this match won. 23. It's the best front runner in the game. Not very often, Alan, is it? He loses a match from behind, from in front, I should say. No. 30. He loves playing from the front. As you see the little cannon there, he's just a wee bit straight in this red. I wonder if he's considering playing round the back of the black for the black in the same pocket. He just couldn't get it out of there, cue bolt. <coughs> yeah, your choice of shot, I think, was the best one there. Follow through, two cushions, black to same pocket. <coughs> it looked to be ideal to play that shot. You see the average shot time tells a little story in itself today. Or Ronnie above 20 seconds at 21 there. That's, that's quite rare actually, but it tells you, Stephen Ronnie said, the intensity 31. which he's playing. Oh, as he left a plant here. So I'm coming round to have a look. Yeah, and that's, the average shot time is always a consequence of he's not had the, the tightest cue ball today. So he's spent a lot of time thinking when you get automatic perfect position every shot you've got nothing to think about you just get down and play the shot you can see that plant is dead set but the problem is getting to that pot and angle from where he is yes tough on two counts isn't it if he found the angle how does he inject the pace in it to the red to reach the pocket because it's super thin the other thing is Player safety and return to bulk. Anything central. You're bound to leave it for Ronnie. Having a good think about it, and I can understand why. It's coming up in a minute. 4 1 down. It'll be a long road back for the Leicester man. between the devil and the deep blue sea here he didn't quite know what shot to play oh good shot this is this is very classy super shot well done tap on the table by Ronnie yeah, that's the best shot he's played in this match so far straight out of the top drawer that safety shot back here. If he catches it thin, uh, too thin. Uh, has he been a little fortunate there? To, he's covered both the reds in the right half. How's Tom feeling now? This red nearest to blue. A big shot. Oh, yes. Two of the best shots he's played in the match. Back to back, Tom Ford. He created the chance for himself. And now he's in prime position to take advantage. It was also excellent concentration because there was a cough right as he was about to deliver the cue. A cough from the audience, so... 
Eight. Tremendous concentration. As you say, Alan, that's his two best shots of the match in a row. Played them together. What can he make of this chance? Nine. Sixteen. Can play a little cannon in the pink here if he wants. Just to hold the cue ball. Oh, Tom, Tom, we said before. Uh, Tom missing Ford, from the 16. Spot. It looked like Thank he was you. trying to hold the cue ball. Why not just play into the pink? Then you can play the black with more authority. You don't have to play a little touch shot. He'll be devastated in his seat. What? Yes, both Tom and his wife there are just suffering at the minute. O'Sullivan, 21 in front and counting. previous to the miss Eight. black he just played the little red and he didn't quite grab the cue ball as intended he left it about an inch lower than he wanted nine Mario Sullivan does not forgive easily Some test of 15. every part of your game when you come up against this man. 16. Your skill, your bottle, your concentration, every facet gets put to the sword. Thirty-one. Well, the red doesn't go in, but 31. I don't think it'll matter. Tom and nods his head. He'd be very disappointed. What a fantastic opportunity to close a gap. But instead, Ronnie Sullivan instead extends his lead to four frames to one. Thank you. Frame six. Tom Ford to break. Dejected in his chair there, Tom. After what has just transpired at the tail end of that last frame. Yeah, in answer to Hazel's question, uh, I would have to say no. It's, I think this match is the same pattern as most of Ronnie's matches this week, apart from the man in the studio. Will turn into a bit of a procession.
Okay, he'll actually be trying to, the, the red on the left half of the screen, he's trying to cover that with a green here. Oh, they've looked one. Not quite. But as he covered that with a green, there is a plant on. Possibly a swerve as well. Quiet down, please. Mm, don't think he'll be swerving that. But uh, this is not an easy plant to, to get, especially the way he's feeling. the Sullivan and in this kind of atmosphere, this kind of stage, you're almost fighting in so many different fronts. You're working in your own game. You see Tom suffering there, thinking about his own game. He's got you under constant pressure. The six times in defending champion. as thin as he can. Back up for blue or bulk colour. Yeah, you see, he got it nice and thin there. What? Six. Yeah, we're running risk of playing a little cannon on the red and pink. He'd love to just flick that red away. Overrun that cue ball again. Ever so slightly, still on this red to right corner. Fight me out. Use that red next to the pink just to kill the pace of the cue ball. You see the red is bound to be on something. Cue ball's doing a bit of mileage so far in this break. is not easy this half ball red one of the hardest shots for these players is the timing aspect of it playing it with screw but not hitting it hard holding for green oh dear dear 60 beautiful shot again didn't touch the sides either it's all about timing that shot that's very very rare that you see runner Sylvan have to go for a ball colour Two shots in a row. Normally they've got that cue ball on a string. Cue ball's running loose again. Twenty. Maybe it'll screw into the pink and red. Leave the pink on here. I chose to avoid it. Go back 21. up again. Again, not ideal position. He's battling here to keep this break going. <coughs> 20. 
26. Twenty-seven. It's a very unlike Renault Sullivan break, this L, isn't it? I've never seen the cue ball travel so far. He just keeps potting the balls. He's just trying to slip across the face of the blue here. Yeah, still struggling for prime position. Thirty. Even someone as good as Ron Sullivan, you cannot keep being out of position. Ron Sullivan, 30. Not one point of that break did he have the cue ball where he wanted it. Thank you. Yeah, eventually the well will run dry. You keep trying to scrap for a good position. Now, Tom, you've got to start taking advantage. This is not a great chance, obviously, but knock the red in. Let's try and get back in the frame. Yeah, good shot, but didn't quite get the purchase on the cue ball. What? Probably a lot of his concentration was just on the pot and he knew the consequences of missing it. So. Thirty. Yeah, somehow keeping it going here, but it's hard work. Not going to get close to his next red. This cue ball will be suspiciously going close to the pink, it looks like, off a couple of cushions. Just managed to avoid it. So another toughie coming up. so it has to play some sort of cannon here. These three reds round the black. If he plays the middle one, there's every chance he'll nudge the one next to it over that corner pocket. That's what he's played. Well done. He's unlucky if he's not on that. He is on it. He may even be able to play for the black to the opposite corner. It depends what angle he's got on it. He's just pointing his Q-tip. Can you get that cue ball out of there? Yep, plenty of angle. Nineteen. We can pop this black, which is not a gimme. He's created a chance for himself out of pretty much nothing here. Yeah, providing he knocks this in. It's a good chance, isn't it? Yeah, good shot. Well done. This has been excellent. Chasing his tail the 26. first four or five shots, but now he's in decent position. Not a frame winning chance, far from it, but you'd expect to have a good lead. An outside chance of winning the frame from this position. And being right handed, those two reds towards the side cushion are doable. Thirty-four. 
the pie. That's well played. Absolutely perfect there on the black. Just a stun off one cushion for one of those two reds on the right hand side of the table. I'm going to be dead straight in this red. 42. <clears throat> he may even choose to screw up for blue if he's dead straight. Just to get the cue ball out of there. Doesn't really want to be playing a black from tight under that side cushion. So he's yeah, screwing back up for the blue. Top four, 42. Okay, you shouldn't miss the pot in the red, but he was a little bit unlucky to land dead straight in this red. But yeah, you can see the, the direction of the tip of the queue. Just queued right across that one. Technique failed on there. Ronnie immediately playing the value shot here. For a top side or straight black to same pocket. This red goes in and he gets a good cue ball. He's set fair. Oh, he's. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> okay, what a shot that was. And he's held it. You see it again there. A little bit of check off the cushion. The lightest of touches, I think, and a little soft screw in the black now. Quite a basic shot, this, but the way he's been concentrating all afternoon. You fancy him getting top side of this next black. Just four behind. Nine. There it is. Sixteen. Seventeen. As Stephen said earlier, such a good front runner. Or something. Twenty-four. You give him an inch, he takes a mile. This boy. Mm, wiped its 26. feet. 26. Well, just about ideal on the green. No. See it again. Just green and brown then. 29. 33. Forty four. Tom Ford created the first chance to win the frame, but he fell down with three reds left. And Sullivan did the rest. He extends the lead. It's 5 1. Frame 7. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Yes, Ronnie gets his underway again. Oh, and a mistake straight away by Tom and his left one. Yeah, good point the boys are making. JP saying about the great John Spencer. I think that Ronnie has it. <laughs> he's the last guy to worry about who he's playing. What? 
And it's disappointing, Stephen, is it? Because the start Tom made this afternoon was really good. You know, that nice 68 in frame one, but he's just, in a way, disintegrated at times. Yeah, ever since that Six. red in the fourth frame. I think that was the killer blow. Seven. The question remains now is whether he's played his last shot in this semi-final. This split the pack. It doesn't look like he's playing the split. It doesn't normally play into the pack high of the black run of Sullivan. So sure, I, I quite like to play quite a lot, but he very rarely 14. does. This is the, the defining shot for Tom Ford's semi-final. And unfortunately, he's going to have to remember that for a while and think of what if. Thank you. 15. Doesn't look to be nice on this black. Run a seven to play the split that he would like. Can't generate as much pace with the cue ball. <coughs> you want to be level with the black. Do well to be on one here. Yep, yeah, that was always going to be tough from that angle. Well, surely he's not found a plan. 22. Sullivan, 22. Playing the aggressive safety shot off the bunch. Didn't have to play that shot. Could have played the single red. Unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes. You play the, you want to split up in the reds, but you need to get the cue ball in the bulk cushion if you're going to play that shot. Yeah, and the examination that Ronnie puts you under is so stringent, isn't it, that anything a few inches off the bulk cushion, he does that to you. One. as well to avoid the cannon. Off, the please. initial cannon that is, right next to the black. Just the wrong side of this blue, but should be able to find a reasonably comfortable mid distance red. to be a nice Six. kiss to land in a blue, but it was awkward. Seven. Still wrong side of the blue. But that was almost like a, a stun shot. If you just played screw in the cue ball there, you're going off in the right middle pocket. So it's a kind of force and stun. Twelve. Another good pot required here. Gonna get right side of the blue this time. 13. Nope. <coughs> Don't think I've ever seen Rona Sullivan battle with the cue ball as much. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good shot. Again, just a great percentage shot. Difficult, actually, not to be on a red. <laughs> he's on one, but he won't even be playing it. 18. That was unfortunate. Played that beautifully. <coughs> but, yeah, you see, cue ball's not been great today, but uh, the, the competitive edge that he has these days, is, it just carries him through, doesn't it? Well, he's just become an animal out there on the table. 
just get the match won. Fierce competitor. Yeah, this visit, he's, he scored 40. And it's been a struggle. The struggle ends with well, a decent safety shot. It's just, he just asks you so many, poses you so many problems. <coughs> Tom comes to the table f firmly with back to the wall now in this match. So creative. Yeah. Three taps of the table by his opponent. That was a cracking shot. Thank you. Settle down, please. Fully committed to that shot, but I would say probably his last what? shot in this match. Yeah, looking quite dejected there. It highly likely that his race has been run this afternoon. Oh, again, eight. Let's put the cue ball in no man's land. Played for the red closest to the black. And then up to when they play this red. A thinner cut back up to bulk. Most unlike him. Nine. Switch it off, please. Fourteen. Ninety. So looking for one more of the difficult reds, the five remaining difficult reds after this little sitter. Actually, quite deliberately pushed the pink off that last shot. A little screw in behind. I think both those those reds together might even both go to the yellow pocket. It gives them an option. They'll obviously, go to the middle, the bottom one probably. So, 26. red colour. Well, just the red. And it will be another final. 27. Sullivan, 27. Oh, very unexpected miss on that black of the spot. Means that Tom Ford does come back to the table. Bit of a forlorn hope of staying in this match. One. Has to put this black. If this black doesn't go in, it'll be a shake of the hands. Say Tom that Ford would be one. that, and it is another comfortable afternoon in this UK Championship.
for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Very, very easy run to the final, you'd have to say. But he is in another UK final, he's fourth in a row. He beats Tom Ford six frames to one.